Hello and welcome back to video two in this Cisco SD-WAN Viptela lab series in which I'm going to build a lab from scratch um, all the way up to a fully working Cisco SD-WAN and then we're going to use some network automation to look at how to automate this process. Um, but one step at a time, I've currently got um, a vSmart which I installed yesterday and today we are going to install the the edge so I'm referencing the EVNG documentation here and to install um, the V edge um, now the V edge and the V bond uh, they use the same image so we're actually going to use the V edge image but to deploy a, a V bond um, in the data center this is going to be our primary uh, setup so I need a V smart here I need a V bond and I also need a V manage and then the V edge devices are going to be out on the remote sites so to get the uh, the V bond in so we need to make another file another folder in our EVNG so I just need to bring in my um, Secure CRT. So this is so this is connected directly onto the EVNG server. And to create the V bond, I need to make a directory. Now this documentation was actually written when the image was 18.4.4, and we are up to uh, 19.2.3. Uh, it's actually not relevant. I could change this folder here to be uh, 19.2.3, but it's not relevant to the installation. So I've created that folder, and now I need to go into that folder. So I'm going to cd opt unit lab add ons et bond 19 oh hold on uh, vt bond cannot create directory i already sorry uh, cd into that directory there we go Oh, actually, I'll go into the directory I created. Okay, now as we can see, I don't have that image in there at the moment. So I now need to upload my image. So again, FileZilla. FileZilla connected to OPT, Unit Lab, Add ons, QMU, and I'm looking for the VT Bond folder. I use the V edge image, upload and set that going. I'm just going to pause the video while that uploads and we'll come back in a second. Okay, 99, 100%. So that file is in and that's been successfully transferred. So I'll now go back into the command line. I'll do an LS and I've now got that image uploaded to the folder. So you upload the image, then go to the image location and rename the uploaded image to hda.qcal2. Now to do that, we do mv and then the name of this file. Copy and paste that. And then the new name of the image is just going to be hda.qcal2. That's fine. And at the end of any Eve NG operation, we just fix the permissions. I'll just paste that one in as well. And now with that image uploaded, I'm going to go back to my lab. So I've currently got the V smart. And now when I add an object and add a node, I search for Viptela. We should have, yep, can you see here this one's blued? This one is clickable, so the V bond is now available for me to install. 
So we add that one in and I've got now got that nice icon for the V bond. Now what I'm going to do just for now is stop these because what I need to create is a management network. I'm just going to add in, I've got a Cisco VRS switch, doesn't need to be anything flash. But I'm just going to put a switch in here and then we're going to connect the Ethernet zero interface off the vSmart into the switch. And I'm also going to connect the ETH zero off the vBond. And then when I get the vManage in, we will do the same um, for that. And then I can manage these devices from my desktop. So I don't need a node, I need to add a network. And then we're going to add the management cloud into this. So the management cloud bridges the connection out of this switch uh, into directly into my laptop. So from the machine I'm working on at the moment, I can connect into these devices and manage them. So we've already booted up the vSmart, that one works fine. So let's just start the vBond, make sure this boots. That opens up the secure CIT. I can close the Eve server down. And my vBond is booting. That was booting, they boot really quick. And admin. Okay, so this won't let me log in. Um, so let's have a look. Um, just gonna check. So, bit V Edge uh, default login. Uh, log into the device. When you first deploy a Vipteller overlay network, log into the VBond orchestrator. Um, okay, so um, the VBond. You need to uh, log into it. Oh, when you first deploy your VIP teller overlay network, log into the vBond, vManage, and vSmart to manually create the devices. I'm going to bring up vBond and vSmart. Okay. Just going to pause the video a minute. I'm just going to check out what's going on here. Okay, I was a little bit impatient there. So the actual uh, V Edge default name and password is admin and admin. Uh, so I've logged in with the login of admin, the password of admin, and now it's prompting me to set an initial admin password, which I'm going to do. And now I'm logged in. Now this has some basic configuration on it already. Um, VPN zero. This is our management VPN five twelve. Yep. Yeah, so that's all up. So I'm just going to end this video because we've now deployed the V bond. Um, I've got the V smart. We'll boot that one up as well. In the next video, I'm going to install the V manage, and then we will have all three elements that we need. Uh, to start building our Cisco SD-WAN using Vipteller. So I'll see you in the next video.